Hey, welcome to Socialism for All. This file is being recorded for the September 2021 edition of Socialism for All. And it's an audiobook and actual audio of a speech given by Lenin in 1919 titled The Third Communist International. Thanks to Marxists.org, the Marxists Internet Archive, for hosting the MP3 file of this original gramophone recording of Lenin speaking. What I'm going to do in this video is to read the translation of his speech in English, and then I'm going to play the MP3 of Lenin speaking, in Russian of course, and I will post the English translation of each passage as it comes up. So, let's get into it. In March of this year of 1919, an International Congress of Communists was held in Moscow. This Congress founded the Third Communist International, an association of the workers of the whole world who are striving to establish Soviet power in all countries. The first international, founded by Marx, existed from 1864 to 1872. The defeat of the heroic workers of Paris, of the celebrated Paris Commune, marked the end of this international. It's unforgettable. It will remain forever in the history of the workers' struggle for their emancipation. It laid the foundation of that edifice of the World Socialist Republic, which it is now our good fortune to be building. The Second International existed from 1889 to 1914, up to the war. That was the period of the most calm and peaceful development of capitalism, a period without great revolutions. During this period, the working class movement gained strength and matured in a number of countries, but the workers' leaders in most of the parties had become accustomed to peaceful conditions and had lost the ability to wage a revolutionary struggle. When, in 1914, there began the war that drenched the earth with blood for four years, the war between the capitalists over the division of profits, the war for supremacy over small and weak nations, these leaders deserted to the side of their representative governments. They betrayed the workers, they helped to prolong the slaughter, they became enemies of socialism, they went over to the side of the capitalists. The masses of workers turned their backs on these traitors to socialism. All over the world, there was a turn towards the revolutionary struggle. The war proved that capitalism was doomed. A new system is coming to take its place. The old word socialism had been desecrated by the traitors to socialism. Today, the workers who have remained loyal to the cause of throwing off the yoke of capital call themselves communists. All over the world, the association of communists is growing. In a number of countries, Soviet power has already triumphed. Soon, we shall see the victory of communism throughout the world. We shall see the foundation of the World Federative Republic of Soviets. So that's the end of the audiobook. And, of course, right now on the channel we're covering quite a number of Lenin's works relating to this time right around the founding of Soviet Russia, the years right after the revolution of 1917. Anyway, let's now play the MP3 of Lenin speaking, and I'll post the translations. Поражение геройских парижских рабочих знаменитой парижской коммуны означало конец этого интернационала. Он не забываем, он вечен в истории борьбы рабочих за свое освобождение. Он заложил фундамент того здания Всемирной Социалистической Республики, в которой мы имеем теперь счастье строить. Второй интернационал существовал с 89-го по 914 год до войны. Это время было временем наиболее спокойного и мирного развития капитализма, временем без великих революций. Рабочее движение окрепло и возмужало за это время в ряде стран. Но вожди рабочих в большинстве партий, привыкнув к мирному времени, потеряли способность к революционной борьбе. Когда началась в 1914 году война, залившая землю кровью в течение четырех лет, 
Война между капиталистами и за прибыли из-за власти над малыми и слабыми народами эти социалисты перешли на сторону своих правительств. Они изменили работу. Они помогли затянуть бойню. Они стали врагами социализма. Они перешли на сторону капиталистов. Массы рабочих отвернулись от этих изменников социализма. Во всем мире начался поворот к революционной борьбе. Война показала, что капитализм погиб. Ему на смену идет новый порядок. Старое слово «социализм» опозорили изменники социализма. Теперь рабочие, оставшиеся верными делу свержения иго капитала, называют себя коммунистами. Во всем мире растет союз коммунистов. В ряде стран победила уже советская власть. Еще недолго, и мы увидим победу коммунизма во всем мире, мы увидим основание Всемирной Федеративной Республики Советов.